Hello everyone, this is Rakesh Negi and I once again welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss how to start Airbus 320 engine using APU Bleed. So the first step which is important for you to know is how to start the APU. To start the APU, make sure that you have put on both the batteries on the electrical panel. I mean to say, put both the batteries to auto position. And then on the APU control panel, which is on overhead, press the APU master switch. On pressing, certain things happen, like the APU page will automatically come up on the lower ECAM. Fuel arrangement will be done. I mean to say, if the wing tank fuel pumps are shut down, in that case, APU fuel pump will start automatically. ECB does a power up test, okay, and the APU air intake flap opens. Once the APU air intake flap opens, we get a message on the lower ECAM flap open in green. Once you see this message, press the start push button which is on the overhead APU panel. This action engages the starter and the APU starts spooling up. Keep monitoring the RPM and EGT of the APU. Once the value of N reaches 55%, then ignition and starter gets cut off. APU starts spooling further and when it reaches 95% plus 2 seconds or 99.5%, the legend Avail in green comes on the APU page on the lower ECAM and also on the APU start button on the overhead panel. So this assures that APU is ready and you can use the APU electrical as well as bleed supply. So let's start using its bleed for engine starting. Now to start the engine using APU bleed, put on the APU bleed push button on the overhead panel. This action opens or brings in line the APU bleed valve. Let's carry out the engine start. Basically there are two types of engine start, one is auto start and the other one is manual start. We always prefer auto start first. So to carry out the auto start, we use the engine panel on the pedestal. On that panel, step one, put the engine mode selector to ignition start position. This action causes the engine page to come up on the lower ECAM automatically. Pack valve goes to the closed position and FedEx computer gets powered. Step 2. In this what you have to do is put the engine master switch or lever to on position. On doing this, start valve opens for that particular engine and after this the engine starts cranking. And this cranking continues for around 30 seconds and after 30 seconds ignition takes place. This ignition can be checked. I mean to say the status of ignition can be checked on the lower ECAM engine page where a capital letter A or B will appear. Since this is an, this is an auto start and it's the first attempt, so you will see a letter A or B appearing over there. It means that ignition has taken place. Now the engine will start spooling further and once the value of N reaches 43%, the start valve and ignition gets cut off. Engine starts spooling further. And in this situation, if you are monitoring the EWD as well, you will see that a grey colored background is there on the N2. This is the proof that engine is still in the processing stage and it has not yet stabilized. Once you see that on the upper ECAM that is EWD, that grey colored background which is on N2 has disappeared. It means that the engine has stabilized. Hence the engine has started. So now you can go for the other engine start using cross bleed or by using the same APU bleed or you can even prefer HP ground if you have used the HP ground that is a high pressure ground supply for starting the first engine. I hope all of you have enjoyed learning APU bleed start for Airbus C20 engine and if there are any doubts please do comment on this video asking your doubts. And I would appreciate to solve all their doubts and come up with a new topic in the next class. Thank you and have a nice time. Happy Navratri.